Hello and welcome back to the Old Golden Black for this double header of a video. The first part of it is going to be a what have we learnt video. I started the series last week, didn't want to stop it this week and I didn't want to put two videos up as well today. Uh, so this first half is what have we learnt and the second half of the video is going to be a preview of tonight's game against Sheffield Wednesday. So the first thing that we learnt, and this is a general thing for the whole Premier League, is Manchester City need to be attacked. Wolves showed that if you sit back, well, Huddersfield showed that if you sit back against City, they're going to pick you off and they're going to score goals. Whereas Wolves showed that if you attack City, they are a little bit defensively vulnerable. Uh, Vincent Company made a couple of mistakes. He got a yellow card in the first 10 minutes, which meant that he couldn't really go into tackles really hard for the rest of the game. Mendy and Walker as well, although very, very fast going forward, Traore and Jota to an extent provided action behind them uh, in the game as well and Gary Neville had said last week that a team needs to show the rest of the league how to play against Manchester City I think Wolves did that I think there are teams who won't be able to play like we did because they haven't got the quality of Neves and Moutinho in the middle of the pitch but there are there were things that we did that other teams around the middle of the table the bottom of the table that could do that will take points off City um and hopefully we'll have a more exciting uh, title race as a result of that. Another general point, uh, VAR is needed in the Premier League. Now, it worked in our favour at the weekend. Willie Bolly's goal probably would have been disallowed. Although, if you're going to be a stickler for the rules and the letter of the law, it wasn't a deliberate handball, so whether or not it would actually have been disallowed is a different question altogether. It's a couple of penalty shots as well for Manchester City. Again, they went in our favour, but there are there are going to be games where it goes against us, and we did want VAR to help us out. Um, we saw in the World Cup that it worked reasonably well, I thought, up until the final. But until there are until it's brought into the Premier League, which it will inevitably, uh, there'll be discussions about every single decision. Final thing that we learned as well is that Adama Traore is an absolute beast. I was a bit sceptical about him after the Leicester game. I thought that he was very, very good at beating players, but there wasn't a lot of end product at all. And I didn't like the way that he was waiting for the ball at his feet. But that against Manchester City looked tremendous and he provided decent balls into the box. And what we need now is Jimenez or whoever it is in the middle or the back post to just get into the box faster. That's what I think we were lacking. We could have won that game had we had somebody entering the box. There was a couple of balls that went across the face of the goal when Traore was on. And that's really frustrating we could have won that game with that little bit of movement in the penalty area so as i just mentioned wolves against sheffield wednesday tonight in the second round of the league cup wolves of course entering the, the competition a stage later being in the premier league now and this was the stage last year that we played southampton and beat them quite comfortably really in the end with a much changed team and that for me sparked the uh the excitement about the season because that we beat such a well a premier league team with a second string it showed me that the depth in quality that we had there last season but now it's the opposite we know the strength of the first team this is going to be a much changed team and it, on paper it's a much stronger second string than we had last season to put out so the pressure's on really because they should be beating a team that are struggling in the bottom third of the championship at the beginning of the season it'll be interesting to see whether Ruddy or Norris plays I think if Norris plays that suggests that Ruddy will be going out on loan uh, with that window closing in a couple of days' time. But we should see Danny Bart, Ruben Vanad, Grey Courtney Hawes, uh, Gibbs White, Dendonka will be playing, I think, the Express and Star reported this morning. Bonatini, who desperately needs a goal. Um, Troyori, as well as I just mentioned, should be playing more of a part in today's game. Hopefully 60 or 70 minutes for him would be, uh, would be good. But I think it's in Nuno's interest as well to have a decent cup run and keep these players interested as well and keep them pushing for that Premier League place. We've seen uh, Costa and Jota and Doherty coming for criticism in recent games. So there's places up for grabs, really, if somebody impresses in one of those positions today. I hope that Ryan Giles is given a go as well uh, in some some way. Um, I think Oscar Burr probably would, could play right back. I think Doherty needs a rest. He's had two games where he's been clattered <laughs> clattered in the face against uh, City and clattered by Jamie Vardy against Leicester as well so he needs a bit of a rest there's been a couple of classic games between Sheffield Wednesday and Wolves in the past only this morning I went back and watched the 1995 FA Cup fourth round game where it went to penalties Wolves were 3-0 down in the shootout but thanks to John DeWolf and Don Goodman and Paul Jones Wolves came out winners of that penalty shootout quite amazingly uh, there was also a penalty shootout back in 2000 uh, my first experience of a penalty shootout which Wolves lost I remember Adi Akinbay being asked to be substituted because he didn't want to take a penalty uh, and there's a football league 
record that stands in this fixture as well. Kevin Pressman holds the record for the fastest ever red card uh, in a, the opening fixture of the 2000-2001 season. After 15 seconds, he got sent off. As for Sheffield Wednesday, they've had a difficult start to the season. They had a difficult season for the whole of last season pretty much because of serious injuries to a number of their key players and they were struggling down the bottom of the table not being able to capitalise on their consecutive playoff finishes the previous two seasons um, and everybody was sort of talking about them at the beginning of this season has been able to challenge back up the top but they haven't quite started in the way that they wish to so for them it's a big game in terms of wanting to get back on track and using beating a Premier League team is quite a scalp it's also a big game for Wolves we haven't won yet this season although we've had three good performances against good Premier League teams we need to pick up a winner and this could be the the chance to do it albeit with a completely changed team the feeling around the club will be good if we win tonight. There's also no extra time for the first time in the League Cup this season. There, it'll go straight to penalties if it's a draw after 90 minutes. So let me know in the comments down below your thoughts about what we've learned this week and the game against Sheffield Wednesday tonight. And drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already for more Wolves content. Thank you, everybody. Goodbye. Penalty shootout, which was 3-0 in Sheffield Wednesday's favour, back at 3-3.